Ladies and gentlemen, introducing You Ease My Pain, created by Sunno AI. And I it's been about a week since I did a song with this. And I think I'm gonna hold off about a week in between. See, the problem is the lower I take the volume, the more it messes up. But if I do that right there, and I know I got your volume turned down, so I can do that right there. Because it's got a lot of bass in it, and I kind of like that. But it's called Jeez My Pain. Ladies and gentlemen, while that plays in the background, and it's two versions of it, and I kind of like the way it's done. And every word is me. Every word is not the AI. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you who have mortgages and you're going into the small claims court, the small claims court, especially in California, is going to insist that you use their forms. That's against the law. So this is how you use their forms and comply with their rules. You're going to take their form. You're going to put your name at the caption. The caption is your name, the opposing party's name, and you're going to put the case number on it. And then you're going to mark a line through every single page after that. And then you're going to sign it. And then you're going to say addendum on your document at the top. And you're going to file it that way because you've used their forms and you still filed the documents. In other words, you're going to say, <clears throat> Frank, you. Okay. That's how you get around them making it mandatory that you use their forms. They're public servants. They can't make it mandatory to use nothing. Sorry, you need to understand this. A young man just went through this today. And the problem is, look, ladies and gentlemen, many of you were filing your small claims lawsuit and you didn't read the rules. You don't bring it against the corporation. You bring it against one of the officers. You cannot sue a corporation in small claims court. Listen to this part right here. Now, some of y'all probably can't hear that. So, now, this part right here, everything that it's doing is exactly what I intended for it to do. It's how I program the information into the system. And the fact that they're blending in both the female and the guy, I didn't do that. The AI system realized that's what I wanted. And I'm just being honest with you. By the way, I wrote the song. It got it. Okay. Okay. So I, I couldn't have done better, ladies and gentlemen. All right, that, that's, you ease my pain. Now getting back to the situation today, he went there yesterday and they told him he had to use their forms. And then they had him process it and they had him have them serve the documents on the people. Ladies and gentlemen, they knew he didn't know what he was doing because he didn't read the rules of the court before doing this, okay? You have to go over the rules first. I, I told this to all of you. Sometimes people listen to me, sometimes they don't. I wish they would rather listen to me because I have a lot to say, dude. Okay, this is not the one I want. I want the one before it. Let's see if we can go to the next. Nope, it only did one. Yeah, it only did one. So I can't do nothing about that. Hold on, let's do this. Okay, it's going to sound like it's the same song, but it's not the same song, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. All right. Now, let's go ahead and um, let you guys know how to handle the courts. When they give you a presumption, that's all they are giving you a presumption. I just told him, go back there and let her know. So, and I said, when you're there, put me on the phone with her. So he called the supervisor and the supervisor was telling him the way things were going to be. 
and I told her, I said, no, am I on the speakerphone? Well, I want her to hear me. And I'm sitting up there checking her in front of everybody because everybody's hearing me check her. Well, that's our policies. Well, where is that policy at? So I can find it. And she never told me. So basically, I ended up calling her a garden tool. And I literally did call her a garden tool. And then I asked them at the end, did she hear me call her that? Ladies and gentlemen, I shouldn't have called her a garden tool. I mean, even though she was acting like a garden tool. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> For those of y'all who don't know what a garden tool is, uh, if you ever did gardening, there's this little long tool with a hook. It's like a, a edge on the end that hooks. Well, it's called a hoe. And it's used in gardening. So I was calling, calling her a garden tool. It, 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 it's not a derogatory term. I just said she was a garden tool. That's all I was. I mean, you know, I actually used the actual name for the garden tool. But anyway, I, it wasn't one of my better moments, but it, there was a lot going on today. But her attitude got to me. So he's going to go down to the Superior Court and he's going to file a complaint against her and he's going to ask for that bond information. Ladies and gentlemen, the individual who was filing the documents have a, has a learning disability. And they did not make accommodations for him. Oops. Okay. That's why he had me on the phone. So that I could communicate for him. They were taking advantage of him. And I knew that. And so now we're just going to document it and forget the bank. He's going after the clerk. Through the bond which is exactly what all of you should do stop letting these officials play games with you stop letting these officials these these public servants play games with you you handle the public servants by going after their bond why because two claims against the bond you don't have to bring two claims against their bond once you get one claim against your bond you're now starting to get worried now they piss off someone else and somebody knows and you advertise that I brought, oh no, no, no. See, they did that to me and I just filed a claim against their bond. You want to know how to do that? You just go back to the court and you watch them do it to somebody else say, here's what I did. I promise you it all changes. And this is what you do, ladies and gentlemen. Police officers, security officers in those facilities, you do the same thing with them. Stop allowing them to act like they're in control. I've had several police officers, I've watched videos where police are arresting people, and I watched one where the police officer says to this guy who just put tires on somebody's vehicle, and after he put tires on the vehicle, they act like they didn't appreciate the job, and they weren't going to pay. So he told them, okay, no problem. And he was getting ready to take the tires back off and put everything back the way it was, which is still double the work. He says, that's the way we do business. They called the police, and the police told him no. Give the man back his vehicle. Excuse me? What the? Ladies and gentlemen, that vehicle is on that property. He doesn't have to give them back the vehicle. He has a contract. They didn't honor their end of the contract. He doesn't have to give them back the vehicle until they pay. The police doesn't get to come and tell him, order him to turn over the vehicle. They don't have that authority. This is a civil matter. You guys have been through that before with the police. Okay? Well, because this guy was, let's just say his skin color was a little bit tan, um, they decided to treat him like a punk. And the sergeant came and said, you're not running anything here. He says, and you are? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the police don't get to run anything. Unless there's a crime, they have no authority. They can investigate all they want. Okay, I don't have to participate in your investigation. You want to do an investigation? Then get off of my property and do your investigation. There is no crime here and nobody reported a crime. here. If he's got a problem, we have a contract. He knows how to go to court. It's part of the contract. Y'all going to follow the contract. This is commercial law. You guys are commercial agents, so take it off my property. That's how you handle that. But I just told him, uh, I sent him because he did a TikTok video and he was asking for help. So I just told him about the bond information, going after their bond. You'll get some act right. Enough of you guys go after the officer's bonds who are acting a fool. The ones who are acting like George Floyd was, you know, a crackhead and he deserved to die. Those officers. 
Those are the ones you want off the street. Start filing complaints against them. I promise you they'll stop. I promise you they'll stop. Don't file a police complaint with the police, uh, what do you call that thing? IA department, internal investigation, internal affairs. Don't file a complaint with them. I mean, you can do that to boister your claim, but just file a complaint on their bond. And if they don't want to give you the bond information, they don't have to. Now you file a complaint against their bond in small claims court. Sue the bond. Sula bond? No, sue the bond. Sula bond. I've heard of Sula. No, sue. Oh, never mind. All right. So go after their bonds, people. Stop letting these officials take advantage of you. Start letting these judges just kick your cases out of court talking about I'm dismissing this. No, you don't get to dismiss this. Those of you who are receiving summary judgments, do you know that if there is a bona fide claim, that if there is a bona fide controversy, they can't just dismiss your complaint? And if they say you failed to state a claim whereby relief can't be granted, so the judge is bond. You bring forth a valid controversy that is a valid claim. If you bring forth a claim saying that a right, a natural right, a civil right, a constitutionally secured right was violated, that is a bona fide claim because it's your right to petition for redress. Stop letting these judges treat you guys like punks. You guys are going to have to, have to bring, bring claims against their bond. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've been up since 3. I got up at 3 this morning because I thought it was 5 o'clock. When I looked at the clock, I was half tired. I thought it was 5. I said, okay, fine. I'll have to get up in an hour, so I might as well stay up. Been up since 3 because of that. Because it took me 30 minutes to realize, wait a minute, it's only 4 o'clock? What the? Okay. And I couldn't go to sleep then because then I it would take me almost a half an hour to go to sleep. And then I'm back in the same situation. Lord have mercy. So I just said, stay up. So now it's time for me to go eat. Got my food right there on the stove waiting for me. It's time for me to go eat, y'all. Because I done cooked this morning. And I was having the meal that I prepare. I always prepare my meals in the morning. And I eat them throughout the day. And I'll eat the same thing tomorrow. Hey, I love my food. Honestly, I'm not joking. I, I'm sorry, let me explain this. You guys, this is a segue, so we're going to be talking about something different now. When they fried my brain cells, they fried my taste buds. So for a long time, food just tastes like paper. I'd have to add so much salt and other things to it to make it taste good. And that got tiring because it, it just, I just had to keep adding more and more and more. So I went to the same God that I asked for. Uh, so forth, I went to that God and I asked that God for, sorry, I got to change headset, so give me a second. I asked him to let all of the food that I taste from now on to make it, make it so that I enjoy it. So when you hear me telling you that I enjoy the food that I cook, I'm not joking. I really do enjoy it. But that's because I asked the God that I serve to make it so that the food that I'm eating, that I enjoy it, that I taste it. I don't have any taste buds. They fried them when my body temperature got to 126 degrees. They fried my taste buds, people. Can you imagine just eating and not being able to taste anything, everything tasting like paper? How do you know what paper tastes like? Because I used to be made to eat paper with my school teachers. So, yes, it tastes like paper, people. Okay. Oh, you remember how they used to wash our mouths out with soap? I've been through that too. So just understand that I, I understand what paper tastes like. And that's what food used to taste like to me. Well, food doesn't taste like paper to me anymore. And so I tend to cook the same things on a monthly basis. The only reason being, and I, I change it up. It's the same type of food, but I change it up. But the only reason I do it that way is because. The items that I'm cooking are the items that, when I was a child, I liked. So again, I'm pretty good at cooking the same stuff, and I enjoy it. I don't get tired of it. Because I asked him to allow me to enjoy what I'm eating, and he's done that. Ta-da! All right, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know.
we were watching this earlier, but I don't know why any of that's popping up because I didn't click on none of that. But we got to go. So bye-bye.